hopefully you There we go. There we go. Fixed it. Always an issue with a microphone. Nah, it's, it's the stupid, the stupid drivers. There's a driver. Is a yeah, it's a driver. The 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 driver, um, the Logitech drivers is messing with my microphone. I don't know why. I removed the app and it still it still refuses to to get out of my computer. But whatever, it is what it is. Should be good now. Um Sorry about that. Goddamn microphone. Always a dumb, the dumb Logitech drivers. I hate you, Logitech. If you're hearing this, you guys are, you guys, your, your, your software sucks. No offense. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> it sounds like an alien from the say <laughs> You're funny, man. You're funny. You're hilarious. All right. So today I want to go over, um, briefly. If I could open this up, let me see here. Give me a second. Do -do 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 -do. And go over. Um, and go over some stuff here. I'm trying to open something up. I'm trying to open up Confluence. Just give me a second. Uh, my account log in. Continue with Gmail. Continue with Gmail. And I'm logged in. Nice. That's perfect. Awesome. Yeah, the audio should be good now. I fixed it. Yeah, it should be good now. Um, I got rid of that app, by the way. It's so annoying with this damn, the damn app. What's up, guys? How guys doing? I see I have 32 people actually on LinkedIn. Wow. Yeah. So today I, I want to just go over briefly, like I'm not going to be live that long. So let me share my screen real quick. Um, And actually, let me do this. Give me a second. You guys, just bear with me, okay? I'm going to open up my app. Um, I tested this, by the way. So just give me. Let's see if I could connect. If I could connect, that would be nice. Uh, it's connecting, connecting. Just bear with me. My phone is trying to connect. Uh, let's see here. Just bear with me. I'm just trying to load. I'm trying to load something. Just give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. Just bear with. It. How you doing, guys? I'm trying to figure out why this isn't working. Uh, let's see. They get it to work for a brief second. Let me look at my applications. I don't know why I'm I I, I can't access my app over here. Just give me a second. Yeah, it looks like it wants to connect, but then it goes away. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? You know what it could be? Give me a second. That's probably why it's not working. Let me try this again. <laughs> that worked. There we go. Awesome. All right. That worked. Perfect. How you guys doing? Yeah, so I'm excited about this because I was testing this and I'm like, why is this not working? And I'm like, all right, here we go. You need, you need, uh, you need enable Wi-Fi. That's why. Uh, let me share my screen real quick. <sighs> let me know what you guys think about this because I normally don't do it this way. Like, I normally don't do this, but I like. I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm like you guys. I'm very hands on. So let me share my screen, screen. Yes, I understand. Screen. It's loading right now. Hide. You guys should be able to see my screen. Yeah, so I'm excited about this. So I've been I've been, I've been dabbling around with this the uh, the phone app, right? So apparently you could draw. Um, on the on your um, on your phone over here. So me, I've been I've been playing around with this. It's kind of cool. So and I wanted to do like a little class on um, on Active Directory and some computer stuff, right? Yeah, I should be able to see my screen. Life is good. All right, yeah. So this is this is what I talk about because somebody somebody was asking me about the difference between. Because we talk about operating systems, right? Remember that 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 when you do operating systems and you're brand new to IT, you got no fundamentals, right? And I always talk about this. And I had an issue with with someone with their they're trying to set up a VM. They don't know basics, right? So the thing is, there are different types of operations. Home, this pro, there is enterprise. You know, there's so many different types of operating systems. So you got to know your basics. You know, I always go back to basics, right? So. That's very important. This is, it's very important to know your basics. So hopefully you guys can see my screen. I love drawing. I got into drawing a little bit, even though my drawings kind of like they're kind of bad, you know, sometimes. But when we talk about computers, right? And I like to draw. Talk about computers. So let's just put this here. Um, let's draw that real quick. So I'm a I'm a visual person. So this is a computer right here, right? And then we have a PC. And then we have our server, right? So when you think about servers, right? We put that as an S. Um, and then you have uh, Active Directory, right? You have Active Directory. And then somehow this computer connects to the server. And you're like, oh, OK, that's interesting. And then you have you you, you got to have some sort of firewall, right? So then you have like your little, your little brick over here, you know, like your firewall. I, I'm terrible at drawing, so don't mind me, right? Um, you have your firewall over here, right? And then you have your 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 switch, right? When thinking about switches, like think about your put it as an S. So this is the server, right? So you guys don't get confused because you're like, oh, what is he talking about? There's a switch, and you have your networking, right? And then what happens is you 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 put everything all together, and then it starts to make sense. But for someone that's brand new to IT, they're like, man, I don't understand this. This doesn't make any sense for me. So you gotta you gotta know fundamentals. So it goes back to learning the operating systems, you know, learning, learning basics, right? Understanding why you're doing something, understanding the fundamentals, right? It goes back to all fundamentals. If you don't know fundamentals, it becomes a problem, right? So I like, I like this for an example. And now a lot of, now a lot of companies, right? I'm going to, I'm going to hit new or I'm going to delete this, right? So now a lot of companies, are, are are moving away from from this environment, right? Like they want to me delete this real quick, make a new one. I like I like this application. I was just playing around with this. Like I didn't know Microsoft uh, has this application. I was playing around with this, but not not a lot of companies, right? They, they may have a on prem server. They may not have an on prem server. Obviously, it depends where you work. Every company is different, so. You wanna you wanna figure out your way of um, your your infrastructure. So, a lot of companies have have a have a computer, and then they have this computer, right? 
And then they have all this other stuff, right? Because I'm also on Discord over here. So let me get rid of that. Um, and basically, it's just like you gotta know, you gotta know the difference between an on-prem environment and then a cloud environment. A lot of companies are in the cloud now. People most people are, are either working from home or they're set up differently. So it's something that I like to share. I'm looking at this drawing. I don't know if you guys like this. I'm like, I don't know if you guys want to see me make videos of me drawing and doing visual stuff. You guys gotta let me know. Maybe I'll do something like that. Let me know if, if that's something because I'm a visual person. I'm gonna hide the stream for a second. I'm a I'm a visual person. I was playing around with this, this application. It's kind of cool, actually. I'm a I'm a very, very, very visual, visual person. Like I don't I don't learn the same as other people. Like other people will read a book and they're they're good to know. They get to they're good to go after that. I don't learn that way. That's not the way I learn. I, I'm never I'm very uh I'm I'm very I'm very hands on when it comes to learning. Like, I don't learn like that. So what application is that? That's that's the the Microsoft mobile app. <laughs> I was just playing around with it. I'm oh this is cool. I didn't know you could do that. So it's something that I'm working on, um, because I'm doing a sorry about them just closing this application. Something that I'm working on because I'm I'm doing a, a course for military veterans, and I, I and I know some people are not they're not very um how you call it they're not very uh, uh good at reading books. They're very hands on, so I want to make I want when I when I'm gonna do my training videos, I'm gonna do training with a visual picture on it or some sort of image on it because some people are good with hands on and then some people are very visual. They're visual, they're visual learners. You know, everyone learns their own way, right? So you gotta figure out how you learn and that works for you. So it's kind of cool. I like I like this app. Um, it's so uh, what app is that? Everyone keeps asking me. It's a Microsoft phone app. It's, that's what it is. Um, it's pretty cool. But I also want to go over um, a ticketing system. So let me go back to this, right? So I actually logged into a, a, a application right now, and I'm telling you, you guys could, you guys just go and sign up for a ticketing system. It doesn't matter if it's if it's Jira. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, just learn it. Like you're learning your, you're learning your fundamentals. Like I could create a project right over here. I could go in here and I could just start messing with this. And they have Confluence, right? Confluence is, is more like try it now, right? Confluence. This is free. Like, like, get started for free, right? Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to take advantage of this. So now it's working on my Confluence page. Like, you can make a Confluence page, and then you could get started and do hands-on training. And then you could do, like, KB knowledge-based articles for your company or for wh whatever. You just want to get hands-on training, right? In order to do, in order to get training, in order to get experience, you do, uh, uh, you know, you do you do some sort of training you, you you build your experience up right i'm i'm trying to open this up let's just go to confluence there we go i didn't know confluence was free but yeah it's free you didn't know that come on man come on guys i'm going to skip all this uh we'll call it cap tech that build right happy saturday steven i see you in the chat yeah, this is absolutely free. Like, I wouldn't understand. I don't understand why, why people don't take advantage of the free stuff that, that there's online, you know. Um, do I want to invite everybody? I don't want to invite anyone. All right, there we go. Yeah, look, it's absolutely free. Like, take take a tour, right? And you could actually build your own. Uh, you could build your own page here. Like this is like on on KB and knowledge articles. Absolutely free, by the way. This is free. This is not like this is a start free trial. Does your team need more? Like you wanna you wanna like it's free though. Like, I could go here and do create right. And say, for example, uh, hey, how you doing? Hey, Steven. See, Steven. Yeah, so hey, this is free. Absolutely free. Um, I don't understand why people don't take advantage of this. This is absolutely free. Like, you could just Google Confluence. Like, if you go here and, uh, yeah, it's a Confluence. Um, and if you go to the bottom one right here, like, get it free, right? You click on that. Like, I'm going to put it in chat so you guys have it. It's free. I don't understand why no one would take advantage of this. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna put it on LinkedIn too. So people are watching on LinkedIn. It's absolutely free. Like I don't know, I don't understand why you wouldn't take advantage of it. Like you you, you download you download or you run this and you, you can just play around with it. Like this is a this is I like me. Me, I'm a big fan of knowledge based articles. That's just a Kevin thing. Like I love making KB knowledge articles. Uh that's that's just how it is. And with me is like for example, like if someone's having outlook issues, just let's just do outlook troubleshooting, right? Uh, like this is like creating a knowledge. And your your manager 
your manager will 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 praise you. Your manager will praise you for this. I'm just saying, like your manager will love you for this if you do knowledge based articles. <laughs> More Cisco. <laughs> Like your manager will praise you for this. Yeah. So it's absolutely free. Like you could go here and then I could go here and 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 do like pictures, right? Like if I open up snipping tool right here, right? And I do run. And you know, you just take a picture of this. Right? And like, yeah, open that up. And I'm gonna throw that in there and paste. And I could throw I could throw that in there, right? Got it, right? And then like, okay. I'll look troubleshooting how to how to open Outlook in safe mode. Remove add-ins. And then you go down here and then um that works. Uninstall uninstall add-ins and reinstall it. And then you're done. And then you just like and then you go ahead and it'll publish, right? And you save that. Now you have a now you have something to talk. Now you have something here you can share with your colleagues. Now, if you want to share it, right? There's a share button right here. And then you can just type someone's email address. I could go here and type someone's email address and share it with them. So I wouldn't see why you wouldn't want to do something like this. And then I go here and you could you need to upgrade it, right? To try the restrictions on this, but I'm gonna do that today. And then here is you could stop watching it, you could star this page. You could do all these other things. It's absolutely free. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of this. Absolutely. And you could export this as a Word document or a PDF if you want to. And then you could you, you could create other other pages in here. So now it's here, right? You see it's here. And I could drag it. Like, I could put it up here. I could put it down there. You know, it's pretty cool, right? So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go. And I'm going to just play around with this. You could just create. You could go here and just go. You know, you go ham, you go ham with this, you know, you just go crazy with this and you start creating knowledge based articles, right? Like, I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that. It's, it's free. Right. Um, thank you. Thank you, Tony, for the $10 um, chat. Appreciate it. So it's free. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't, you wouldn't take advantage of it. It's absolutely free. Take advantage of the free resources. Like if, if it's free, take advantage of it. Don't be afraid to learn. Don't be afraid to make knowledge based articles. And this is just one of them, right? I go here and create another one. Like I could go here and 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 create one for um uh let's just say um office 365 right like office 365 and go here and how to give mailbox rights to someone then you go back over here, right? And you open up Office 365 right over here. And then obviously you could create an article on this. And you go in here. You go to your admin center. Um, go to users, go to active users. And then you could go to, let's go to somebody. Go to active users, right? And you have your mail over here. Like I'm over here, I'm logged in as admin. I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him some rights. Like you wanna do read and manage permissions, you could do that. Like my name is there, like you could add somebody else in here, like you could go in here and you could add this other person, right? And I take a picture of that. You just go over here, you know. You got to step by step, you know, like you go here and, and just, you know, just create articles. You could create a bunch and go and go crazy with it. You know, like I'm going to, I'm not going to create a, I'm not going to create an article right now. I'm going to close out of this. So yeah, that's just, you know, stuff that, 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 that you could do if you want. Like this is, this is not done yet. Actually, I could actually go back here and I could delete this one right here. Right. And then I could just go ahead and I don't understand why you wouldn't want to like do this for your job. Like this is something that's absolutely free and it's going to help your, your teammates. Like a lot of people uh, learn that way. And some people are not, some people don't, don't can learn on their own. Like you need, they need to go into like knowledge based articles and then you learn that way. You know, that's, that's a good example of this. This is why I wanted to go over this and you have your different dashboards and I could use Slack right over here and I have admin rights. If I go to administration, right. 
I could go right over here and I could create other stuff over here. So I could take I could take advantage of this whole system right here and you you could create projects. You have your dashboards. You could, you could go into view all dashboards. Uh, if you want to give someone rights to a certain dashboard, you go in here and you could actually change the owner or you could go into it and you could do a bunch of other things. Like I go here, I could edit this and um, I go and get, get crazy with this. So this stuff that this is absolutely free. Like, I don't know why people wouldn't take advantage of this. It's just, you know, that's just one free ticketing system. Now, if you go into, we're talking about ticketing systems today, right? Type Spiceworks, right? It's another one. It's absolutely free. Go here, Spiceworks. All right. You want to launch your help desk? Uh, I already have an account, right? And I'm going to connect with Google and it should let me in. And I have tickets. Like I have the audio issues, right? Um, something that you need to know. And, and you know, I, I, I like to do ticketing systems. I like to go over them because Spiceworks is absolutely free. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of this one either. This is absolutely free. I'm going to put this in chat. So you guys could play around with it, right? There's another one. Like I like to share my knowledge with people. I don't like to hide knowledge. It's not what I do with people. So there's another one. You just create a new ticket right here, right? And I could put a bunch of people here. And I could just create a ticket for myself or create a ticket for someone. This is my email address. You guys know my email address. Um, printer issue, right? And print double-sided. You know, you just make, make something here, and then you're just going to go here, assign it to myself, create, right? And it's assigned to me. And if I go into, if I go here, and close out of this, close out of this, close out of this, close out of this. Like so many, I got so many emails today. I go in here. I'm trying to mark as a spam. If I go in here. You could just close the ticket, right? This is like, I wouldn't see why you wouldn't, you know. And you have a remote session button right here. You could just click remote, and you start a new remote session. You don't got to pay anything. It's free. You can remote into someone's machine. You give them this code, and you can remote in. And it's only good for 30 minutes. See, it's really cool. So you can remote into someone's machine. They're having that printer issue, and that's it. And then you go, you go, and you can merge ticket. You could close ticket. You could close it and and close the ticket, and I would put like a response here. Um, incorrect drivers, correct drivers. Uploaded the right ones. Uploaded the right one. This is now this is now working, and did a and I did a and I did a test page. So and then you just throw that in there right there and you close it. You got a comment in there. You're good to go. So this this is some this is another one. This is free, built in, remote session. Like I don't know why you guys want to take advantage. Of I I I stress the the living hell out of ticketing systems. By the way, like, you guys don't know me. Like I like to give out free information and I stress the living hell. Like this is another one that's absolutely free. You can take advantage of it right now. You can create reports here. You can export. You have a knowledge base here. Like the same thing like Jira. Knowledge base create a new article and you could just start making stuff here. And 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 SpiceWorks is a big company. Like they have a lot of um. They have a lot of free stuff in here. Like, I don't know. I don't know about anyone else, but like Spiceworks, they have their own forms and everything. I love Spiceworks. So that's one that's one that I recommend. Um I was also looking at um I'll tell you right now what I was looking at. I was looking at at uh, a Splunk as well and a few other platforms. Um where InfoSec. Where are you, InfoSec? Infosec, my man Simon. I saw Simon in chat. I know Simon is around here. I'm gonna close out of this. Close out of this. Simon, I know you Simon. Simon, I know you're here. So if you guys haven't followed Infosec, I suggest you follow them. Um I'm all over the place, by the way. <laughs> you guys are aware. Um, they have free stuff here. So I I, I love their I love their platform. Like I, I'm super quiet about I do things behind the scenes, right? So this is one is a company that I, I recommend for cybersecurity if you're brand new, like InfoSec. I love you guys. Simon, I love you, man. You're a good buddy of mine. I'm gonna put InfoSec in in um in in uh, in chat for you guys. You guys could join. It's absolutely free, by the way. There's another platform that I recommend if you're brand new to IT or you wanna get started in IT. Like we have articles in here, 
I'm gonna I'm actually gonna create um help desk IT support uh content on their website. So I'm excited about this. This is something that I'm working on. And then the other platform that I recommend, and you're gonna be like, oh, I didn't know that platform existed, right? Give me a second. Uh give me two seconds. Are you the other the other platform? that uh, I recommend. Let me go to my LinkedIn profile, actually. And I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you something right now. Just give me a second. It's another another platform that I recommend. I'm trying to open it. So I, I was literally on their page, like oh, a few minutes ago, literally on their page. Another company, this one, close out of that. This one right here. Um, Whole Cyber Human. Initiative. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this company, but they they have free uh, uh, cybersecurity stuff. So if you go, if you go here, um, if you click on this, right, and you say I want to become a whole whole cyber, or I want to know more, or I want to take a free program, you can take a free program for cybersecurity. And I'm actually partnered with them, by the way. Free free is always good. <laughs> free is always good. I'm partnered with them. So if you guys haven't. Follow them. I'm going to send you a chat over here on, on LinkedIn and here on YouTube as well. There's another one. I'm actually a partner with them. So if you go all the way here, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. InfoSec is a partner with them too, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm actually right here. So my name is here. Uh, I'm partners with them. I actually signed up recently as a partner with them. So I definitely recommend them as well. They're free and they're helping people. They're helping military veterans. It's another platform that I recommend. If you're brand new to IT or if you want to know like how to get started in IT for cybersecurity, I recommend that platform. It's a very, very good platform. Um, and also I was looking at what what uh what Kevin Diaz sent me or Kevin, my Kevin, he sent me reverse engineering 101 malware analysis, which is what I was looking at. Um, this was pretty cool. I'll probably do a lab of this at some point. You guys don't know that I uh, I got I recently won Security Plus, so I might do security training at some point with people on YouTube. So I'm gonna put that in chat as well. You guys could save that somewhere on your. You guys could practice this, create a home lab, and do cyber do cyber security reverse engineering 101. I would add this as well. Um, the links are in chat, Dennis. You just asking me for? I literally posted it in chat on LinkedIn. So this is another one that I I uh, I think you guys should look at for like hands-on experience, right? Uh, I also was looking at what the, what else was I looking at? Um, uh, I was looking at I was looking at Splunk Splunk fundamentals. I I I because if you guys don't follow me on Discord, I post a lot of free stuff on Discord, which I think I shared this last week or we could go. You guys could go over this too if you want Splunk training. Recommend that as well. Um, take advantage of the free resources. Uh, I'm gonna go back into my history and look for what I look for what I was looking for because someone was asking me about cybersecurity. So, see if I could find it. Uh, just give me a second, guys. Sorry, so I have like a lot of I have like a lot of information. Uh, Another is another another one. Um, I was looking at um, N I N I C C S. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. It's like a like a cybersecurity uh, framework. I was also looking at that. Someone put that in chat. You guys could look at that. Um, that's another one. I'll close out of that. I'm going to put that in chat as well. I was looking at that. It's very interesting. And let me see what else. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Um, What's her name? Um, Khalila Scott from cybersecurity. I'm, I'm, I added her on my, I added her on my discord too. So look at her website too. I recommend you look at her website. She has like a website. It's absolutely free. I don't know why you guys wouldn't take advantage of that either. Morning, Donish. Um, I'm going here. Uh, uh, tech sec chicks. She has a, a a website. It's absolutely free. Like how to secure a job and cybersecurity. 
Uh, I recommend her her platform as well. I was looking at her stuff. She has a lot of good information. I'm going to put this in the description as well or chat so you guys can look at this. Um, I really enjoy the... I enjoy her lab training. Like she does like labs and stuff like that and how she passed security plus. Um, I like her information as well. So I'm going to put this in chat as well. You guys could look at that. Um, I came here live and I didn't, I didn't want to get into cybersecurity stuff, but I ended up doing cybersecurity stuff anyway. Um, this is a, this, she, she, I don't know why she doesn't have a YouTube channel. I, I want her to make, I'm forcing her to make, I'm like, make a YouTube channel. Share your content with people. Come on, please. You know, um, I like her website. She, she has a lot of good information. It's another company that or platform that I recommend. And this one, Cover 6. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Cover and Close out of that. It's another one. Cover 6 for IT, for SOC analysts. Um, let's find and put a low. This one is good, too. And um, I like this. I like Tyrone. Tyrone is cool. Um, definitely recommend his, his stuff, too, as well. If you're doing, like, SOC analysts, Training, uh, cybersecurity training. You definitely want to look. It's actually you got to pay for this, obviously, but he has a lot of good information here, so I definitely recommend him as well. If you're trying to do cybersecurity, I'm gonna put that in chat as well. Uh, give me a second. Another person that I familiar with. Um, yeah, and then that's it. That's pretty much it. I don't want to go live too long. I don't want to be live too. I don't want to bore you guys to death. I don't know if you guys have any questions for me. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. There we go. Yeah. Because I'm actually waiting for my food. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop sharing. Hopefully that helps you guys out. So they'll give you some more information today. Because I keep giving you guys more information every day or every week. So that's some, some information for cybersecurity if you want to get started. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, you definitely need that chai. That chai tea. That chai, chai tea and relaxation. Yep. So... That is another, um, I guess, a few different platforms that I recommend. So, yeah, if you're having that issue, that's your phone. That's not me. Um, you probably have to copy and paste it anyway. Like a left, uh, left click, copy and paste. So, I definitely recommend those, those platforms if you're trying to get in, started into, into cybersecurity. Let me go. And open up my Discord for a second. I have something. I, I have one more thing I want to share before I let you guys go because I've been live for like thirty minutes now. I have stuff I got to do, unfortunately. But I am on Discord. I always tell people I'm on Discord. So if you if you want to come to Discord, don't be afraid. Come to Discord. I'm on Discord. Um, I'm definitely gonna do more um more videos. So don't worry about that. And I'm just I went live today because people keep keep wanting me to go over some stuff. So I have something here. Just give me a second. Let me grab it. Um, I, I um, this is if you're a military veteran, I put it. I put it on YouTube, YouTube chat. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it over here. So these are free resources for military veterans. I'm gonna put it in chat. You guys watching? Because I'm a I'm a huge believer of giving back to military veterans. So that's that's one, right? Uh, the other thing I want to share with you guys is um, free resources for IT Pro TV. So I'm gonna give you that. You can sign up for a Linux course right now on the weekend. They're all doing uh, free Linux courts April 23 and 24. 75 hours of free training, Linux administration, Linux. Engineer at Linux Essentials and CompTIA Linux Plus is absolutely free. So I put that in chat for you guys. I give you something for free. You know, if you're just staying here and watching myself. I greatly appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Um, I'm gonna give you another thing. You're like, oh man, Kevin's giving me a bunch of stuff today. I'm gonna give you a complete guide on landing your first cybersecurity job, and I'm gonna put that in chat as well on LinkedIn. Give you one more thing. There you go, guys. All right, let's see. And someone just gave me a super chat of fifty dollars. Holy crap, Julian! You don't gotta do that, man. That's too much, man. Jesus Christ, it's too much. Jesus. All right. Thank you for everything you do for us. Your lab and resources are amazing. Would you recommend a contract position for someone who's new to IT? Um, to get paid cut, less benefits. I, I honestly, I'm a huge believer of, I'm a huge believer of, um, 
taking a job with benefits. I don't want to go without benefits. I want my PTO. I want my vacation, right? I don't want to get a job without any vacation. I want to, I need to breathe, you know? So that's how I look like contracts are good. Contracts are bad. It depends what contract you have. Some contracts give you PTO. Some don't give you PTO. Some pay you more. Some don't pay you more. I, I, if you live in the San Fran area, I recommend you look for a full-time role. Stay away from contract roles unless you, unless you want to get job experience like me. Like when I first started, I didn't have any job experience and I wanted to get job experience. So what I ended up doing was I worked as a contractor, but now I work full-time and I have benefits. So they're like the, you have to outweigh the pros and cons, you know, it's good and bad, you know, so we got to look at it that way. But thank you. Thank you guys for um, following me. And thank you for watching today's video and session. I am trying to give you guys free stuff. Uh, and Julian, thank you again for the, for the super chat. $50. Holy crap, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Appreciate it. I, lo I love you guys. Let me, uh, let me close that first. Thank you. Thank you, Julian. Um, how do you get in the city? I teach. Uh, I take a train, man. I take the train. I'll give you guys another resource, right? And I went over this, right? So Security Plus, Security Plus Exam Cram Live for free training. So free Security Plus training, right? If you want to do Security Plus. And I'm going to get my Security Plus certification. It's happening. At some point, it's happening. I don't care what anyone says. I'm getting that cert at some point. So I'll give you that. Uh, I'll give you one more thing. Uh, security engineer training from Microsoft. You know, I love to give out free stuff. Here we go. There's another one. Give you that. Put it in chat. Um, see what else I have over here. I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you guys a bunch of free stuff today. Uh, let's see here. What else I have here for today? Cyber secure, cyber security services and tools. I'm going to give you guys that for free right now. It's another link in chat. So I love to give out free stuff. Here we go. You guys can play around with that. Um, let's see here. That should be everything I have. I don't have any more free stuff. I mean, I could check it in another Discord. I get free stuff from Discord. Like, like I'm friends with everybody on Discord. Um, let's see what else we have over here. I'm on Discord, guys. So if you guys don't follow me. Like I'm on Discord. Please follow me. If you guys don't follow me on Discord, come to Discord. Please follow me on YouTube. Like I, I, I try to give out free stuff when I can. I might do a giveaway as well at some point. Um, I'm doing giveaway because I work with Cyber Supply Drop with with Josh. Um, Josh Mason from Cyber uh, Cyber Supply Drop. I'm friends with him, so I, at some point I'm gonna do free giveaways again. So. Please follow me on YouTube. Please stay connected with me because I do tend to give away stuff for free sometimes. So, yeah, um, I'm on Discord right now. So if you guys haven't followed me on Discord, I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna make a post about certain things. So let me let me get out of this. All right, That's all right, cool. Um, yeah, try get started with those resources I just gave you. Uh, that should help you out. Uh, I'm on Discord. You guys want to follow me on Discord? I'll give you the Discord link. Just put, when you, if you join Discord, don't forget to add yourself as a member or read me. Like, I, I'm, let me share my screen again. Sorry, guys. I was getting ready to go, but you know, you guys are asking me a lot of questions. So, um, the link is. I'm part of Simply Cyber Discord. I'm part. I'm, I'm, part, like, I'm part of 45 different Discords. I'm also part of Comptia Discord right here. So there's like so many Discords. Professor Messer, um, the IT Beard Dad. Um, I'm part of uh, TCM Security, Cyber Warrior, Republic of Hackers, InfoSec Pack, uh, Hacker Valley. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get my hands dirty and learn some cybersecurity stuff. So I'm all over the place. But if you guys are in my Discord, I'm going to put the link here. Come by Discord. Say hi to people. Get yourself familiarized with people. Just come and say hi. Don't forget to add yourself. So you got to go here, read me for access. You got to hit the thumbs up. In order to add yourself. If you don't do that, you won't see anything on my channel. My channel is my channel is for security reasons. I I, I have this enabled. So you gotta you gotta go to read me for access and hit the thumbs up. If you don't do that, you can't see anything on my channel. It's a security thing that I put in place. So come by, say hi. Don't be a stranger. Sometimes I go on voice channel. So I literally joined the voice channel and I talk to people. So come by, say hi. Don't don't be afraid. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing. Yeah. So yeah, come by. I, I'm on different. I'm on 45 different discords, by the way. 
and I'm a moderator on some of them. So that's that's why you when you guys message me, I don't respond to you on LinkedIn. It's because I'm busy. So and actually my food is here. So I gotta let you guys go. My food is actually here. Um Yeah, so my food is here. I literally, they just call me. I literally, the food is here. I let you guys go, all right? You guys come by Discord, all right? Come say hi to me. Don't be shy. You guys have a wonderful day, all right? Take care. Later. My food is here. I'm going to go eat.